following training is sponsored by the Niagara Library System. We serve our member libraries in Niagara, Orleans, and Genesee counties. Please visit your local library homepage and use your library card to get access to streaming videos, downloadable music, audiobooks, ebooks, and even more from the comfort of your own home. Thank you. Hello, good to see everybody. Today we're going to talk about subtitles, captioning, and dubbing even today. There are differences between them. I didn't really know that. I, I've used the uh, captioning and the closed captioning system on the television for many, many years. And uh, actually when there was the transition to digital, um, because the captioning signal was actually a signal that was put in with the TV when it went when it was analog so uh, when we went to digital TV in that years ago uh, it was harder to find where the captioning was but um, it's out there it's there it's gotten I don't know I would say better and worse at times uh, and a lot of times uh, the captioning is done by machines but let's get into the differences here and this actually popped up because uh, of the Netflix phenomenon the the South Korean produced squid game uh, came up and of course it is in uh, Korean so um, the uh, Meredith Dietz wrote an article here from uh, life hacker and uh, she talks about everyone may be watching uh, squid game but are they really getting it created by I'm gonna butcher that name uh, Huang Dong Hook the South Korean dystopian drama has hit Netflix top spot in 90 countries, uh, been subtitled in 31 different languages and dubbed into 13. So it's a real global sensation. So translation is definitely an art. And uh, comic and co-host of uh, the Feeling Asian podcast, Youngie Mayor, sparked debate uh, on Twitter. It says that if you're not fluent in Korean, have you really watched the same show is, is what the podcaster said. But it turns out there's a way to more accurately experience Squid Game and many other non-English language shows and films. And it lies in selecting the right subtitle track. Let's talk about this. So there's subtitles versus closed captions. Both subtitles and closed captions are visual aids as opposed to dubbing, which involves translating speech into another language and then lip syncing new dialogue over the original audio. Dubbing always involves changes to the dialogue, not because the translators are lazy exactly, but because they can't translate everything literally. Also dubbing, some people have a real hard time watching it because the your lips do not match the actor's lips do not match the words because they're literally speaking in a different language and the track uh the audio track has then been dubbed over in a different language now i do watch some uh dubbed films and I watch a lot of subtitles and I almost always watch television and movies with closed captioning on. One of the things I noticed with the captioning is that the the soundtrack or the music might be really loud or uh, uh, if, if you are into scary movies or stuff like with Halloween and that used to be a lot of what they call jump scares in the movies with the audio track and then the talking was really quiet so you'd have to turn it up so then the jump scares were even worse. So I still remember the very first uh, scary movie I watched was called Ghost Ship from years ago. And that was the first movie I was able to get through because I could keep the audio actually quite low and I could watch all of the dialogue on the screen through the captioning. So um, I'm not a big fan of dubbing, but I, I do like all different kinds of films. So I will sort of put up with dubbing if you want to put it that way. I actually say, Put up with it but we're lucky lucky to have it because otherwise there's a lot of things that would uh, be closed off to me because I don't know the language so moving on with the article sorry uh, subtitles okay are a text alternative meant to directly match the dialogue being spoken but they usually don't include background noises or other elements of the audio subtitles typically assume the audience can hear the audio but need text to supplement the spoken word Closed captions or CCs, on the other hand, do not assume that the audience can hear what's happening on screen. According to the National Association of the Deaf, CCs not only display words as the textual equivalent of spoken dialogue or narration, they also include speaker identification, sound effects, and music description, and that they definitely do. 
Closed captions are often automatically generated, which means when it comes to dub films, you're going to be reading text based on any new dialogue that was put in. Okay. As a general rule, subtitles are created for people who can hear but do not understand dialogue, while closed captions are designed for those who cannot hear any of the audio. And in the case of Squid Game, many Korean speakers claim the subtitles translated from the original script are more accurate than the closed captions, which are based on dubbed audio. Uh, what can get lost in translation? Translation is absolutely not a perfect science, um, but rather an often undervalued art form. Uh, while the debate around translations is an important one, it doesn't mean that non-Korean speakers should be deterred from watching Squid Game altogether. Just make sure you watch it with the subtitles on uh, instead of the captions. That's what's uh, generally uh, recommended. Okay, the switch to subtitles from closed caption is simple. When you pull up Squid Game on Netflix, the caption options are located on the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Under subtitles, uh, the subtitles header, select English uh, and not English and it's got the CC after it. I'll go ahead and highlight that here, okay. Um, unfortunately, not every translated film on every streaming service or DVD will offer both subtitles and captions, but if you have a choice, you want to go with subtitles, uh, which is most likely to give you the best translation. Good luck. I, I hope this was helpful and uh, it doesn't matter. I use them all the time, all the time. I'm very accustomed to having the uh, subtitles or the, the captioning on the screen. So take care and we'll see you in the next one. Bye now.